What's better than saving time and money? Almost nothing. Stick around, I'm gonna show you guys how to save time and money replacing the rear brake pads on the Hawk 250. You're on the good old boys YouTube channel. Well, ship. Oh. So guys, we're gonna jump right into it today. You can see I have these Kawasaki brake pads. These are for a 2014 Kawasaki Brute Force 750. Now, you guys will notice that on a lot of bikes, if you're into the Japanese bikes, they have the same brake pads throughout many different models uh, and brands of bikes. So it was not very hard to find a set of brake pads that would fit the Hawk 250 that came off a Japanese bike. There are many benefits of finding uh, Japanese brake pads, or at least brake pads that fit a Japanese bike. Number one, they're more common, which means they're easier to find, and you can also find them for very, very cheap. These specific pads here are $50 because they're Kawasaki brand pads. You can find the same exact pad on eBay for about $10 or $11. The reason I'm talking about all this stuff is because if you go on to Orion Power Sports, you're getting basically the same thing you'd be buying off eBay, except they upcharge you. I've seen places selling Hawk 250 specific brake pads for up to $50, which is absolutely ludicrous, especially considering you can get that same brake pad on eBay for, like I said, 10 or $11. Before we get into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know my bike is a 2019 Hawk 250. Now, chances are the brake pads on your bike, if they look the same, they probably are the same, but I just wanted to put it out there that if you have a different year bike, there might be a slight chance that you have a different brake pad. So just double check before you go ahead and order these brake pads. So we're gonna jump right into the video here. Basically, I wanna start by breaking loose these bolts that hold the brake pads on. Again, we are working on the rear brake pads. The front brake pads are actually different, so you need a different pad for the front. I'll have another video coming up on that when my front brake pads wear out. I'm actually going to back these most of the way out. Now we're going to take these two bolts out. Oh man. Hmm. Well, that's not good. Threads are a little bit flattened. Ooh, on both of these. Good news is, none of this is hurt, but we do need some replacement bolts. Whoever put this together actually stripped these bolts out, or at least cross-threaded them. So it's pretty simple from here on out. We just remove these two Allen head looking bolts. They're actually a big pin. You might have to push them out from the backside, and that's what they look like. One thing we want to do is go ahead and push these cylinders back in. As you guys can see, they're slowly but surely going back in. Now we can take the other pin out. So as you guys can see, one pad is more worn than the other. We definitely used all the pad that was on this brake shoe. One important thing to note here is one brake pad is different than the other. Guys, so before you order your brake pads, uh, this is very important here. You need the front left brake pad assembly, front left. Here's a part number. So you guys will notice here, if you get the wrong side, the brake pad is on the wrong side of the shoe. So you need the brake pad to be um, on the correct side, obviously. So you need the left side, front left side brake pads of 2014 Kawasaki Brute Force. And again, like I said, uh, the Brute Force is one of many models that actually uses this same type of brake pad. So again here, if we're looking at the correct pad, which is the left front, you can see the brake pad is on the same exact side as the original shoe. So guys, while we're at it here, it's a good time to do maintenance on the brake caliper. You want to pull this thing straight out. It's just two pins. You want to re-grease these pins. I've got some white lithium grease here. Any grease will work. Alrighty guys, so when you put this together, the brake caliper goes on like this. You wanna have your bracket in this position and just slip it right back in those holes. 
Make sure your seals are back in place and we're good to go. Sliders are all lubed up. And now it's time for the new brake pads. So we wanna lube our pins up here. I know it's counterintuitive and you guys can do this or not do it, it's your choice, but I like to be able to get the brake hardware back out of my bike. So I'm gonna cover it with lube. So now that these are lubed up, I'm gonna put the inside brake pad on here first, which is one without the extra piece. And you're gonna to have to fiddle with these a little bit to get them perfect. We have the brake shoe for the other side with the extra piece. And you'll notice it rides on this little um, extra protruding part. So you need to put that on there, rotate it up in here. And slide your pins through. Perfect. Now it's time to tighten the pins back down or at least get them started. And we're down to these last two bolts. As you guys know, somebody stripped them out. So um, for you guys, I'm gonna tap it out, figure out what thread and bolt that is so you guys can get a new bolt if you need to as well. Alrighty guys, so you're looking for an eight by 1.25 tap. It is a metric tap for these bolts. Same thing, run the tap through this hole as well. I'm lucky enough to have some spare hardware laying around and I found the perfect bolt. So like I said, all we need to do is put these two bolts right back where they go. Right where they belong. Once everything's back on the machine, don't forget to tighten your little bolts that go through the brake pads. Obviously, you want to come back after a while and check all the hardware. Just make sure nothing's coming loose. That's all there is to it. I hope you learned something about where to get brake pads from. There certainly are some cheaper options than what you're getting from Orion Power Sports and Texas Power Sports. Um, my biggest thing is it seems like they take a while to ship things. Maybe they don't. Maybe they do. But I have heard stories where they take several months and where they have shipped the wrong parts. So it's just not worth it to me. I'd much rather find something like this and be able to get it within a week. I don't care so much about it being a name brand part or anything. When you find a Japanese bike that uses the same part that you're looking for, it opens a lot of doors because you can find a part very easily that's very common. So again, uh, this is what you're looking for here. It's the left front side on 2014 Brute Force, Kawasaki Brute Force 750. I'll put a link to these in the description box below, as well as the set of pads that I found on eBay. So again, in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Again, check out the description box below, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Woo. It's all about humanity.